it's imp it's impossible to find a vantage where you can actually see anything. Yeah. No, but so you can see like, if you hadn't come back across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, well you wouldn't have been able to things. tell even if you went to Longabon or not. You're cold to see you. Uh, well, I had natural. fan blowing all over me. How natural. So, uh, so then we thought, okay, it must be crawl by. Take a cruise. Is this crawl by? No, that's further along, but you wouldn't have got wrong at this point. So, so then we were like, uh, oh, the families. Could oh, be that oh, you oh. went to Longer one, or it could be that you, yeah. yeah. So, it's about them, I was like, left. So, it sounds like that oak, Cats and Ellenbogen. His mate owns that whole entire piece of land. Yeah, awesome. Jesus, I must get a little bit friendly with that. I haven't seen him over 15 years. He's obviously know? aged a bit. From Pals. Did you do business with him? No, vending machines. Uh, one of his mates was involved with... Do you have uh, a vending machine business? Yeah, with um, a cigarette vending business and I was doing cold drinks and snacks. Uh, so you were the more like moral person? Yeah. So then did you know... Um, uh, Debbie, Debbie Kopman and her uh, husband, what's his name? Uh, Roland. No. No, Ari Selesniak. Ari Selesniak. Yeah. They seem to have made a lot of money out of their business. They did, they had some exquisite timing. They bought out all the other guys and uh, one stage their revenue stream from advertising branding was worth 40 bar a year. Just Jesus. insane numbers. At almost no cost. Bar. Well, he approached every Tom Dick and Harry said, if you want a cigarette vending machine, you can have it. I will send a technician to fix it when it breaks. It's like, there you go. Take it and run. And, uh, and you and did he supply the stock? Or so he just wasn't interested in the operation. What was he interested in? Collecting 300 grand a month of brand new revenue. It's great for us. Great. Uh, no, probably left. So he had other people. I mean, right, who, sorry. Right, yeah. Up. So he had other people who actually yeah. stocked it and. Yeah. Uh, So he had a risk-free business. There so it would cost him, and a cigarette vending machine is quite a simple machine. It has no cooling, it doesn't give change, it's like a really small thing to manufacture. So he would manufacture a cigarette machine for five grand tops and he'd get 300 grand a month return. And that you was have a lot of paid yeah. or And then he sold out when he saw he was on the negotiating committee. And when he saw it was coming to an end, negotiating committee with with British American Tobacco, with advertising agencies in terms of revenue. What was his actual business? Uh, vendor Magic cigarettes. No, but I mean, how come he was on the committee? Because he just ended up. Um, oh, so he could see that the law was going to change. And he sold off everything quickly. 